Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Theo Joe Tech, and I know the Apple thing with the headphone jack has really been beaten to death, but Apple has not stopped yet. They've given us another reason to talk about it, and I thought I would investigate really what is the reason they actually removed the headphone jack as opposed to what they say. And what they did recently kind of gives us a hint. You see, Apple recently sent out a survey to customers asking how often they use the headphone jack on their MacBooks. So obviously they're at least thinking about removing the headphone jack on their MacBooks, just like they did on the iPhone 7. But why would they do this? On the iPhone, it was ostensibly so that they could free up the very limited space within the phone. And I guess you could buy it, even though I don't think it removed as much and made that big of a deal as they said. But on a MacBook, an entire laptop, you can't tell me that that's the same reason to free up space a tiny little headphone jack out of an entire laptop sized device. There's no way it makes that big of a difference. So then what's the real reason for this? Well, there's been a lot of talk about it and the conclusion that most people have come to is that it's a money grab. You see, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is an open standard. It's very old, it doesn't require a license specifically to make a device that uses one, so anyone can just go out and make a pair of headphones that uses that type of jack. But that's not the case with any proprietary standard, in this case, the lightning connector or anything that Apple uses. So if you wanted to go out and create a product that uses the lightning connector, for example, you would have to pay a hefty license fee of four to eight dollars for every single unit that uses that. It's not a one-time umbrella fee, it's for every single unit that you sell. So that means that anyone who wants to make a pair of headphones has to raise the price from four to eight dollars right off the bat to cover that licensing fee. And that means that from now on, if someone wants to make a headphone jack that use that lightning connector, they're gonna get a lot of licensing money. And that's probably the reason they're doing this. And sure, you could always use the adapter that comes with it, but I'm sure they're hoping that they're gonna start an entire new market of lightning connector headphones just so they can get all the licensing money from that. Another reason people have speculated Apple could be doing this is for DRM purposes, digital rights management. Because it's a proprietary connector that is digital, not analog, they have much more control over the devices that get plugged into it. For example, they could go as far as only allowing certain devices to be used with it, and if you don't have a legitimate device that paid the license fee, that device might not work. Also, they could potentially even control what types of media gets played over that connection. With the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you didn't really have any control. It was analog. You could plug whatever you wanted into that and it would work. But with a lightning connector, it's digital. They would have much more control over what can be used with it. An extreme example might be that a music label has a deal with Apple and they don't want their music being played on certain types of devices, such as a sound bar or something like that. They only want headphones to be able to be played with that music. Now, obviously that's a very extreme example that probably wouldn't be the exact case, but it is possible. That's the type of thing they'd be able to do. They would look at the connection and it's, since it's digital, they would have a lot more information about the device and say, no, you know what? We don't wanna play this type of music over that device or we only wanna be able to play YouTube videos over this device, that sort of thing. The point is that with the lightning port as opposed to 3.5 millimeter, Apple has way more control over what devices will work with the iPhone or the MacBook if they take it out of that as well. I mean, Apple has already removed basically all the ports on their current laptops. You get one port with a breakout cable that you need to use if you wanna plug anything into it. And I guess if you're going for a purely portable laptop that you don't want to plug anything into, it might not be that big a deal. But a headphone jack, if they remove the headphone jack, you know that Apple's not just making laptops, they're just making fashion items at that point. It's my opinion that I think they're just taking away too much functionality and for no good reason. I would never personally buy a laptop that only has one port that I need to carry around a breakout box just to use anything with it. But then again, I guess I'm not exactly the target consumer that they wanna to sell to. But I guess going back to the original question of the video, why did Apple really remove the headphone jack? Well, if they had just kept it at the iPhone, they could have at least had that excuse that it frees up space. But with this Mac thing, where removing the headphone jack from that, 
There's no excuse for that. There really is no excuse. Courage, yeah, okay, Apple, I don't think so. So I would like to hear what you guys think about this. Would you buy a laptop without a headphone jack? Now, if you're gonna have to use that breakout box anyway, maybe it doesn't really matter to you. I could see that as an excuse, but I wanna know what you guys think, genuinely. If you guys wanna keep watching, I've got some other videos about similar topics on the right-hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you wanna subscribe, I make videos a couple of times a week, so it should be worth it to see more discussions like this. So thank you guys for watching again. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I will see you next time. Have a good one.